Well, while most of us run from danger, first responders run towards it. Their mission, of course, to help us. They save many lives, but every life lost takes its toll. Until now, those struggling have, with trauma have had few places to turn, but that's all changed. And Jessica Cartelli explains how Maryland is taking the lead. Coming out the windows and everything. Please hurry. Three people killed, one disabled in a fire at a group home. Six children killed when fire rips through this home in northeast Baltimore. It's a big family and they are screaming. They run straight to danger, first on the scene when tragedy strikes, witnessing life and death firsthand, risking their lives to help us. But who is there for them? We ask them to do superhuman things and they're human. Firefighters have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, but the danger is more than just physical. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I didn't understand why I was in such a fun. Retired Montgomery County firefighter Eric Fessenden vividly remembers the worst tragedies as though they happened yesterday and remembers when the grief took over his life. You can't find any joy in your life. I mean, everything that was joyful and fun and, and made you feel accomplished or whatever is just gone. Eric came here to the first of its kind inpatient center for post-traumatic stress disorder. Dr. Abby Morris is the medical director of the facility in Prince George's County, created by the International Association of Firefighters. You take a person who is human, who is as vulnerable as we are, and you ask them to day after day after day go into fires and attend um, horrible car accidents, to take someone who's hung themselves off of that, all while someone behind them is screaming, save my baby. What kind of success have you seen? It, it has been bigger and better than anything that I expected. There are 60 beds and treatment lasts 30 to 60 days with 18 months of follow-up. We now know one in five firefighters and paramedics will suffer from PTSD during their career. In a culture where being tough is a badge of honor, 92% say stigma stops them from getting help. Five years ago, I went to a firehouse and nobody would say anything. Now I go to a firehouse and people are openly talking about what's bothering them. That's fantastic. Eric was one of the first to be treated when the center opened last year. I would say that I was changed within hours of getting here and I was a completely different person in a much better place when I left here than when I came here. I didn't even know who Eric was, so they helped me find Eric. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to cry. Here, they learned to fight a different battle. When we're human beings that were given a gift by God to want to serve other people, and everybody has a right to be happy. Well, thank you, Jessica, for being with us. I guess it makes sense that PTSD would be a factor in these kinds of jobs, sure. but one in five, that's a staggering number. It is a staggering number, and we had just spoken offline about how he felt that he was immediately changed. And I think once they got there and once they all arrived there, they realized that other people are in the same situation. Mm -hmm. And one in five, I mean, you think about how many men and women are in a firehouse, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Several. So everyone is dealing with something. And I would imagine that it's not just emergency um, no. workers, like firemen, also police officers. Absolutely. I mean, think of all the people who deal with tragedy every day. I would hope and I would think that this would set the precedent for police to do something similar. Mm -hmm. Emergency responders can clearly go to this one with the IAFF, mm -hmm. but uh, I think that this really is a solid model, mm -hmm. and I think this will be replicated. And the success would be they're able to go back to the job and cope with whatever emotions come up. Right, exactly. And in this case, Eric was retired, and so he was dealing with that on top of it. Uh -huh. He said, this is all I've ever known, mm -hmm. was to be a firefighter, and now dealing with a life outside of this and without his comrades, as he called them. Well, glad to hear it's in Maryland. That's yes, terrific. it is right in our back door. It is so nice. And they, they really come from all over and Canada. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. So interesting.